I, uh, I, have, a, I, have, a, I have a stutter. That's what, that's, that's what that is. And what is your talent? I'm a, I'm a g g comedian. I had a, I had a sport, sports injury. That's, that's, that's why I talk, talk, like, talk like this. I'm okay with, 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 my, with my, my voice, but I, I still struggle with some, some things. Like, 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 I have the hardest time at a drive-thru. <laughs> you know, cause, cause you, cause you got, you got to say the, say the order fast, and you're, and you're, and you're talking through an intercom. It's like, I don't know why I, I, I work, work there. <laughs> but, I don't know. <laughs> I w I w I want I want to get to, to where be people st start to use m m my 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 voice as as, as the voice of their g g GPS. <laughs> it's it's like it's like in 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 one one thousand 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 feet make make a make 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 a le a, le a, a, a you 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 turn. <laughs> Your your des, 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 destination is 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 ahead of you on the on the on the on the right. Oh, 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 re, 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 re. oh, oh, you 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 oh, 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 re, 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 re. You, 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 you turn. You 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 turn. You, you should you should have got. <laughs> no, no. Wait. <laughs> I believe that you 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 can turn and and anything and do do positive. That's why I'm here. But I've come along some some people who don't think 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 that. Like I did a sh show one time where 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 a guy stood up and it's like, hey, you 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 can't just make make fun of disabilities. Just just cause you you ha have one. <laughs> I was I was like. I was like, well, did 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 I did I stutter? Thank you guys so 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 much. I'm telling you, I haven't been moved by an act like this up until this moment, and because of you and because of this moment, I want to do something very special, something I haven't had a chance to do, and I'd like to do this. something special for season 10 so we brought many elements together yeah dance lighting water all these things oh, that really? we're gonna combine so dance lighting and water I'm curious as hell go for it thank you thank you oh wow.
when you say it's the two of you, I, I can't imagine two people putting this together. Well, we have our director, his name is Val, and he's the director of... Let me say Val, let him take a bow because he's a genius. Val! Val! I was so moved by this piece that I want to express to you how much your beautiful artistry moved me. So, I'm going to do something special. You know what that button means, Val? It means that you would be rewarded with a trip straight to our live shows. You know that. Great. I tell you what, let's do it. What are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be singing. Yeah. And is this your full-time job as a singer? I've left my job like a year and a half ago to pursue my music full-time and just been hustling. <laughs> my lover's got humor. He's the giggle at a funeral. Knows everybody's disapproval. I should have worshipped him sooner. If the heavens ever did speak, He's the last true mouthpiece Every Sunday's getting more bleak A fresh poison each week We were born sick But I love it Command me to be well Amen 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 Take me to church about you even though you say you've been singing I feel like it's almost like your first time you've really embraced your voice I mean you sent chills down my spine the whole audience you could hear a pin drop literally and for that reason alone I feel compelled to do something that I have never done before do you want to know what that is yes <laughs> I'm 11 years old. You're 11 oh. years old? Oh. Yes. Wow. My daughter, my oldest daughter is 11 years old too. <laughs> wow, she would be very nervous to be on the stage right now. Are you not <laughs> nervous? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> How many years have you been singing? Um, for as long as I can remember, to tell you the truth. Yeah? My brother taught me um, and trained me and, you know, helped me a lot. So he's a big supporter. Okay. I can't wait to see it. Good luck to you.
love this act. I really, really love this a lot. Thank you. And because I love you so much that I'm going to send you right to Radio City Music Good evening. You are Piff the Magic Dragon. I'm Piff the Magic Dragon. You do, uh, you do a magic act, is that right? Oh, fancy. $500. <laughs> this is Mr. Piffles. Hi, Mr. Piffles. $1,200. <laughs> Hang on, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Nice. $74. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, you're gonna reach and you're gonna grab any one of these playing cards. Anyone take one out? Anyone? Just one? That's it? You happy with that one? Yep. Now don't let Mr. Puffles see, okay? Is it right your name? Okay. Is it on the front of the card? Put the card back in the deck. Put the card back in the deck. Lovely, just there? Yep. Remember your card? Yep. Don't forget it. We're gonna show it to everyone there. Everybody remember Heidi's card? Mr. Piffles, the world's first magic performing chihuahua, is gonna to attempt to find Heidi's card using just his sense of smell. Oh, gosh. Heidi, do you like small animals? Yes. You do? I do. Do you want a little cuddle? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I got a dog, Heidi. But we do need to move on. All right, take him, he's dead to me. There we go, lovely. No biting, Mr. Piffles. Not in the face again. Now, if Mr. Piffles manages to find Heidi's car, he's gonna win a very special prize for a very special doggy, an entire year's supply of dog food. Ooh. You take the food, I'm gonna take the doggy. Come on, Mr. Piffles, come on. All right, Mr. Piffles is gonna find Heidi's cards. You ready, people? Heidi, the playing cards. The playing cards, here with Mr. Piffles. Mr. Piffles, take it away. So he's gonna go through all of the cards. All of the cards that don't smell like Heidi, he's gonna take his cards, he's gonna throw them out of the case. He's gonna rearrange the remaining cards, placing Heidi's card at the 19th position. Throw it up to me, leaving me with one card and one... <laughs> Mr. Piffles has found Heidi's card and he's changed it. into the Ace of Hearts, and he's got rid of Heidi's name. Ta-da! Now what are we going to do? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Piffles, what, what have you got you to say do? for yourself? Oh, Heidi, he says he's very sorry. He says he's on hunger strike. <laughs> he says no food, no card. Don't tell me the card is in this thing. Put the card in your hand. Mm. Don't move. I'll go in. <laughs> Inside the food. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Kiff's a real magician. Oh, oh. nice and clean for you. Oh, this is for you, ladies and gentlemen. Right of course, for Heidi. Nice she returns yeah. back to the finish. <laughs> nice yeah. job, Piff. Thanks very much. Wow. What kind of sandwich are you making? Uh, ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> you and. Uh, you can't wait till this is finished, or are you? Well, I'm quite hungry. All that dog food made me a bit peckish. So. <laughs> well, I loved, I loved all of it. I love the comedy. I love the, the actual skill you have in magic. I love your attitude. I'm kind of blown away by it, and I think it's great. And I don't think we need to deliberate much because I'm using my golden buzzer. <laughs> You've earned it. Thank you, Congratulations. Are you nervous? I extremely. Am extremely nervous. Well, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Time on my hands. Sin
Mr. Craig, Mr. Lewis, this is the truth. I don't want to push this button because I don't think you, you need me to push it. I think, I, I just, I don't think you have a problem at all going through. Well, you know, I'd push it for him after that performance. Oh, you brought, oh, it's bring, oh, you brought I'm really your... sorry, I couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> oh, fantastic, last time. Thank you very much. And why are we, why are we whispering? <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> sorry, be right with you. Mirror? That, that's Howie. <laughs> Daddy! No, no. So listen, you go to sleep now. I want story. What story? What? I want a story. Well, we haven't got time for the story. Story. No, no, we haven't got time. I want a story! Okay, okay. All right, I'm really sorry. If I tell you a quick story, you promise me you go to sleep straight away. <laughs> this is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood? Yeah, shh. She was walking through the woods on the way to her granny's house when all of a sudden out jumped a big bad wolf. Wolf? Yes, a nasty one with big horrible teeth. No, don't like it. No, but it's part of the story. Don't like that. Or... No, but it has to be. Don't like it. Okay. <laughs> change it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll change it. What, what, what do you want me to change it to? Duck. <laughs> the thing is with the story, it won't work as a story if it's a duck. I want a duck. Okay. Okay, it wasn't a big bad wolf. No. It was a big bad, um, duck. Big bad duck? <laughs> yeah. No, fluffy yellow duck. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood was really frightened. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, because... She wouldn't be frightened of a fluffy yellow duck, would she? No. Hence, you've done it again and my story doesn't work. You keep doing this to my story. Doing what? You keep making me put ducks in them. Duck! They don't work as stories when there are ducks in them. Duck! What about yesterday's? Goldilocks and the three ducks. Duck! Snow White and the seven ducks. Duck! Why do you keep saying duck? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good finish. Yeah.
wonderfully orchestrated. The joke telling was great. You made a grown man feel like he was a kid, and I just felt myself just laughing, and I felt joy. And I want that feeling, and I want everybody to feel that feeling of joy. So I love comedy, and I love you, so. So are, are you the genius behind this? Do you come up with the choreography and the video? We actually do everything with all members. I didn't like it. Uh. Ooh. No, I didn't like it because I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I did this job for six years on America's Got Talent, and I was trying to think of any act I'd ever seen that had the kind of originality and creativity, and I honestly couldn't think of one that I think quite rivals the level you're already at. Now, you may be aware that I have this golden buzzer in front of me. Now, do you think that you are worthy of that? I believe so. <laughs> well, you would be right to think that, because you're getting the golden buzzer. Thirteen. Thirteen. Are you a singer? Yes.
stand up on, on end and you're only 13 years old. And you know what, I think that this show is gonna completely change your life. And I'm gonna change your life right now. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. sing today. And what do you do in New York? I deliver pizzas for my cousin's place. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, do you have a, are you a wife? Oh, I'm 20. I'm too young. Oh, you're 20 I'm years old? Me. Wow. Do you have hey. a girlfriend? Heidi Klum. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> are you going to be our, uh, our entertainment now? I'm going to entertain you like you've never been entertained before. There you go. There you go. There you go. As a matter of fact, I didn't come here to try out. I came here to win. Wow. I like that. So good luck. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain, my friend. I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I am certain I've lived this life that's full I've traveled each 
And every highway And more Much more than this I did it my way Let me tell you For what is a man What has he got If not himself Then he has not To say the things He truly feels And not the words Of one who kneels The record shows Sal took all the blows I did it more Come up here. Should I go down here? I do. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, I'm really glad I'm on food today. Yeah. Do you want to know how I feel about you? Do you? Tell me. I tell you right now. You Hey, Kelly. And where are you from? I'm from a really small town in Ohio. It's called Grand Rapids. And how old are you? I'm 16 years old. 16 oh, years wow. old. Yeah. Wow. I like the whole look. It's like a little Audrey Hepburn. Oh, it thank you. Um, my hair wasn't really like my choice. Um, I'm a survivor of stage three ovarian cancer. Oh, no way. Yeah. I kind of came here today to show people that no matter what you've gone through, to keep chasing your dreams. Oh, what a great message. Like a small boat on the ocean Sending big waves into motion Like how a single word can make a heart open I might only have one match But I can make an explosion and all those things I didn't say were wrecking balls inside my brain. I will scream them aloud tonight. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm Like a small boat on the ocean Sending big waves into motion Like how a single word can make a heart open I might only have one match But I can make an explosion I just had this feeling when you walked out, I can't explain it. Just your spirit, the choice of song, your voice. Uh, I think you're really special. I've just got this really incredible feeling about you. Thank you I so really much. do. That means so much coming from you. Thank you. It means That's a lot awesome. coming from Simon. Yeah. I think everyone in this room felt it. And I think that, look, you were nervous. I could hear that, um, but you know, get past this stage, I predict great things are going to happen for you. There's something about you. Thank you. Sorry, I've got to do this. And we'll So did 
deserve that. Thank you. I so think you're really special. Uh, Jonathan, how old are you, darling? I'm 90 years old. No wow. Way. wow. So what are you going to do for us today? Well, I'm going to dance. Are you? Just let me entertain you And we'll have a real good time, yes, sir Oh, we'll have a real good time conversation backstage and Miss Dorothy told me that all she dreamed about all her life was being a star in a moment like this. I told her a star is born tonight. <laughs> now it's kind of unfortunate because on this show each judge gets an opportunity once a season to hit the golden buzzer and the act gets to go straight through to the live shows. But all of our judges already hit their golden buzzer. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to break the rules. Welcome back. Thanks, man. For those that don't know, John is an eagle. He's on the Philadelphia Eagles. He's the long snapper. There we go. Best of luck. So you said you got to make the show bigger, so boom. Uh -huh. Anyways, okay. So uh, I, I love this. Neil, you're going to love this. we got a deck. They're uh -huh. huge. You guys can't miss these. All I want you to do <laughs> is just touch anyone you want. It doesn't matter. Anyone? Anyone. OK. Do you want to keep this or change your mind? Uh. I want to change my mind. You're that guy. Okay, here, just touch one. Uh, let's go here. Okay, stop. Do you want to keep this one, or do you I'm, want to change I'm going to keep this one. You sure? Yes. I don't want to see it. Okay. I'm going to blindfold myself. Show the camera. Show the crowd. Don't look. I'm not, I'm not looking. I'm going to look down here. Okay, hey, everybody think of this card. Think of the color, the shape, the size, everything about it. And here's all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this card. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ESP at its best. So far, so good. <laughs> all right, here we go. So when I get this right, this is so sick. Ladies and gentlemen, the card that everybody here is thinking of, Neo, the card you're thinking of, you're feeling it right now, mm. is none other than the ace of clubs. Killing it. Uh-oh. That, that, that's nope. not the, no. OK, hold on. That's amateur hour. You guys thought I drew the ace of clubs. No way. I thought I'd step this up. And ladies and gentlemen, right here before you, I drew an entire deck of cards, and Neo's card is inside. See that? See what I mean? See what I did there? Get it? No. I tell you what, this would be a good trick. What was it? You want me to tell you? <laughs> it's going to help me out a lot right now, yeah. Five of clubs. Let me see it. OK, good. What if I could change that? Watch. Watch the ace. Five of clubs. I, I got the suit right, so I just got to add a few clubs. Watch the ace. That would have been good, though, if I could change it. That would have been good. I would have been good. I would have 
Yes, that would have been cool. I walked out of the room and just quit because I, I could have topped that. <laughs> Remember earlier I said it was inside? Yeah. Watch. No. There you go, Neil. And now look, I didn't want to do this, but look, just to show you, that five has been drawn on there the entire what? time. Oh. There is your ace. There is your five. I'm John Dornbos. Peace out. Does that make you a little bit nervous? Yeah. All right. Let me figure this out, then. <laughs> That was good. Can I do something? Tell me again in the audience why you decided to audition this year on America's Got Talent. It's one of my dreams to perform in front of millions of people. All right, well, good luck. Wow, look She's at that. only holding it with her head. Look at that. This is insane. Look this at is... this. Oh my god, with fire, no way! Ah! Oh! Whoa! I think actions speak louder than words. Out of tonight, only seven acts are going to go through. So you're going to step this up now, yeah? Yes. OK, well, look, two minutes can change your life. Good luck.
Well, I just want to say. You want to say something to Louie? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Are you, are, you, are you nervous? Um, yeah, actually, I, I am. Yeah, how old are you again? I'm 14. 14. Uh, oh, that's why. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter. But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move mountains. We can walk it out and move mountains. And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day. just one thing with you it's not just the voice it's not just the performance you have everything and it's so Thank infectious you. to watch your performance <laughs> so oh my gosh What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. It talks. <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> We're gonna find out. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> what, you're gonna sing? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> so
puppet, I'm guessing, is exactly like you. Very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. <laughs> I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. <gasps> you know what? And if you have And what's your name? Uh, Mandy Harvey. And who's this? My interpreter. What's your name? Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you, you, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Doing well, thank you. Hello. Okay, Mandy, so I think I've worked this out. So you're deaf? Yes, I, I lost all my hearing when I was 18 years old. And Mandy, how did you lose your hearing, if you don't mind me asking? I have a connective tissue disorder, so basically I got sick and my nerves deteriorated. So your shoes are off because you're feeling the vibration. Is that how you're following the music? Yeah, I'm feeling the tempo, the, the beat uh, through the floor. I don't think you're going to need a translator for this. I'm 16 years old. Okay. Tell me, tell me who you're here with, Christian. Um, my mom's here with me. Okay. Are you a singer? Yeah. And tell me when you first started singing, Christian. Um, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. Okay. I have a good feeling about you. No. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> And if you can make one wish right now, this second, to make something come true for yourself, what would you wish? Right this second? Yes. Probably the golden buzzer. <laughs> well, your wish just came true. You guys, you guys, wasn't this not incredible? Like crazy good? Do you have my good? Yes. I'm feeling you guys so, so much. Ah, here she comes! Here she comes! What will you be doing for us today? Well, I've been singing since forever, but I took it seriously when my parents got divorced. And it was really hard for me. And music helped me so much.
what you just did to me you feel like there is an old soul inside of that little 13 year old body and I really really loved it and I loved it so much that I'm gonna hit the gold I mean, I'm so, I'm so blown away because you walk out and there's this like, you know, you've got these like sneakers on and you look like this adorable little child. And then you open your mouth and it's like, how do those pipes fit in that tiny body? You are unbelievable. Thank you. I just feel like. Angelica, you are the chosen one. She's crying now, amore. I just want to be my own artist and uh, make music that people can relate to. I really hope today's as good as the first. Thank you. And good luck. I'm out to be the best me that I can be. Working on my craft day in and out. You know that's what I'm about, no. I'm not aiming to become famous. I just want to play and sing this. The only competition I see is myself. I got a tunnel vision, kind of like a telescope. And I'm looking at, and I'm picking at everything that I can do to become better. I see a lot of people, I hear a lot of things. They're talking about diamond rings, money things. 
I guess that happens when you hit the top, become unsatisfied with everything that you already got. You say it's all about the music, but you don't even live it. Yeah, you lie to your fans, singing from my shadow, you can call that shade. I don't sing for that track, I write songs in my snapback. I don't care what they say, keeping it real, kinda like an acapella. Acapella, ah, uh, acapella. Acapella, ah, uh, acapella. Acapella, ah, uh, acapella. Keeping it real, kinda like an acapella. Sometimes I need to focus on myself and what I need Sometimes I feel like my mind is on its own kind of speed But I guess it's the way that it goes when you try to write like a beast This is my feast Don't ever classify me as a rapper I spit a little bit and I can talk fast but that's it Ain't about the gold chains, ain't about the fake girls Ain't about the high life, ain't about the money See my lyrics are different, they come alive the minute I start to sing them Would say that I put my soul all up in them But I am a ginger, you know how that goes I don't look up with strangers, no I got class and respect, yeah I don't care what they say, keeping it real Kinda like an acapella Acapella, ah, uh, acapella Acapella, ah, uh, acapella Acapella, ah, uh, acapella Even it feel kinda like an acapella You know, I do this music thing for real you know I'm saying I put out a lot of hit records. And let me tell you something. The lyrics, they so real and authentic like an acapella. The way you was breaking it down and I was listening to the words and the way you got the crowd involved. And then you came with your own song. You're not singing somebody else's song. You're on your way to be a star. This show and this stage is going to make you into a Superstar. Here she is, Celine. Celine. Yes. And I remember your name is Celine and your sister's name is Dion, right? Yeah. Because you guys are all a little bit obsessed with Celine Dion. Just a bit. I could hardly believe it. When I heard the news today, had to come and get it sprayed from you. And I don't want to know the price I'm gonna pay for dreaming. Even now it's more than I can take. So and like take you home. You are so adorable and so cute and your voice is amazing. Thank you. You are so, so talented. Too. Thank you so much. I am really blown away. You are so talented. Unbelievable. So adorable. I might just have to.
everybody, uh, I'm going to be slightly against the others because I think you missed the point by singing a Stevie Wonder song. There's no better way of singing that song than Stevie Wonder sings it. So with all the trills and everything, I thought it was quite annoying. No. I did. I, true. Whoa. Oh, God. I like, Johnny, when you do something we don't expect, whereas I've heard a lot of people sing Stevie Wonder like that. Just give me 30 seconds of the song you sang before, I Have Nothing. Nothing, nothing If I don't have you Even for what I just heard there, honestly, you are one of the best singers in this competition, so thank you. You know, Johnny, you have such an incredible voice. It is undeniable. You hit notes that I could only dream of. <laughs> I was always taught that you have to be ready at every situation. You never know when opportunity is gonna knock on your door. Simon said to you, give me something a cappella." And you didn't flinch, you just gave an incredible rendition. And so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. my breath and I just, I need some oxygen right now. I'm like freaking out right now. This is so crazy that you know what I have to do! You know I this is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be, this is me.
family's my reason why I'm here. My wife and my six children. Six, six. children. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, one of the things that happens, especially because my children came out of foster care, when you're surviving, you can't dream. And that has been one of the most rewarding things, is providing them with a home and a safe environment where they're free to dream. That's nice. Michael, you know what? When we find singers on these shows, is it about being technical or is it about being relevant? And sometimes, for me, it's just about being real and a surprise, if I'm being honest with you, because you were so nervous, I was concerned for you. But I think sometimes actions speak louder than words. Courtney. And how old are you? 13. Oh, 13. Wow. Um, what's your favourite subject in school? Music.
thing. Oh my God. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yes. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan. And there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, would, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis, I'm Howie Mandel, and I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you... I love singing. You love music? Mm -hmm. Is it something you do as a hobby? Does it make you feel good? I feel like my experiences really connect me to like music. I just, I, I love it. What is your experience that the... Uh... I was raised in Dominican Republic till I was four years old. So when I came here, I didn't know a word of English. Really? And I got bullied a lot. So um, oh. all that kind of gave me tough skin. Where do I start? That was just incredible. Thank you. All, I've got all goose pimples all over. I mean, it's just crazy. I love you. I love your voice. And this is what I'm going to say to all those bullies. My name is Michaela Phillips and I'm 15 years old. 15? So you're still in school? Yes. Who are you here with today? I'm here with my mom, my dad, my brother, and the rest of my friends and family are in the audience. This is a story that I have never told. Take back the light inside your stole. You're a criminal, and you steal like a All the pain and the truth, I wear like a battle wound. So ashamed, so confused, I was broken. You can never hurt me, there's a part 
cute on top of it. I love you. Thanks. I think you are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. I mean, I love the whole package. I love your smile. I love how you project to everyone. Your voice is incredible. You know what I'm going to do for you? to do how far I'll go. One of your comments last time was that you felt like This Is Me wasn't rehearsed enough. We feel just a little bit more tight and solid on the vocals with this cool. one. Are we ready to win this thing? Yeah. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember never really knowing why I could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water, no matter how hard I try. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make, every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the line where the sky is the sea, it calls me. Telling how far I'll go, I know Everybody on this island seems so happy on this island Everything is by design I can beat with pride, I can make us strong Feel me satisfied if I play you Yourself. I wanted to start something to give back to the community. We try to represent diversity, different religions, different ages. We're black, white, rich, poor, gay, straight. Even the Republicans, Democrats can sit next to each other in we our like group. That. I 
Looking around and, and seeing the diversity and seeing different ages, different races, and yet you guys are all singing from the same voice. It is so inspirational to see all of you guys, and I don't know. Is my, is my mic? No, we yeah, can hear you. On. I don't know if you guys can, can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Are you sure? Because can you hear this? Welcome back. Thank you. For those that don't know, your age is? I'm 71 on Tuesday. 71 wow. years old, I know. Give it to me. inspire people of a certain age but you inspired everybody yeah. of all ages thank you truly a remarkable performance I don't know it just really moved me I think it's incredible so there goes my heart because you are the reason but I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'm flying 
Baje from Savannah, Georgia. I'm 14 years old and I'm a rapper. I did a song about um, gun violence. Uh, it's called Guns Down. Let's pick up on that because I think it's important that you tell everyone what you told us on the first day we met, if you don't mind. Um, my dad, his name was Camouflage. He was a rapper, up and coming. Uh, he was gonna be signed to Universal Records. But two days before he was gonna sign the contract, he got murdered and um, my mom was pregnant with me, yeah. My whole goal is to uh, continue my father's legacy. I feel like he died too early. That's what I feel and I feel like he had a dream and he had things he wanted to do, so I'm gonna do it for him. Look. I gotta make it look what I done been through This is real life, I cannot pretend to Never let them tell you what you can't do Cause I done made it this far, I can't lose My struggle, that's something I really went through Most of them was face to face, some of them was mental Just to get my feelings out, I wouldn't push the pencil Needed help to eat this beat, so I use my utensils I'm from Savannah, it's a crab in the bucket effect In the face they love you, they'll stab you right back in the back Just to prove them wrong, I get a million and go double plaque But the haters and the doubters gonna be family after that But I'm just trying to get this green like a herbivore you say you want it bad, but I want it more And I'ma get it, I don't gotta stand by a corner store Cause I'm the greatest, work ethic won't be deflated They said that I never make it, say that I never prosper That second place trophy gon' transform to Oscar Now they feel it in they heart, I'm the people's doctor And they want me to flatline, but they can never stop up I gotta make it, look what I done been through This is real life, I cannot pretend to Never let them tell you what you can't do Cause I done made it this far, I can't lose I gotta make it, look what I done been through This is real life, I cannot pretend to Never let them tell you what you can't do Cause I done made it this far, I can't lose I'm blown away, and I was blown away by your audition. I mean, I, I have goosebumps, and I'm shaking a little bit, because I want to tell you something. At 14 years old, you have the kind of authenticity and honesty that uh, some artists never achieve yeah. in their entire lives. You were not given a chance to have a relationship with your father. You were not given a chance then, and I want to make sure you get a chance now. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. That was incredible. That was really incredible. You're amazing. Hi, my name is Vanessa and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours and do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. Oh, one oh. is my son, and the other one oh, was oh. supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. Oh, oh. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Cherry I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. I feel it's Heidi chewing something. Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Mr. Cherry, I love him. Yeah! <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Hey, Heidi. 
Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from it makes the outside sense. and it gets darker around and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Jen him. They're Jen cheating him because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. That is the word. Simon and Howie have won. Thank you for playing Password. Let's hear it, everybody. You won a million dollars. Where's the check? Where's the check? What word do you think he's thinking of and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. OK. This is a mind-reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! Earring and shoes. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> This is freaky <laughs> lipstick. Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, <laughs> two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome. That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I, I swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got you. studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage. She will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what? I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm going to say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times. Let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Four. You didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia. A lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, girl, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they, <laughs> what they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how I was grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing... I admit it. I do admit it. 
Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Sowie, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet... You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, oh. it's between the white T-shirt and the white dress shirt. And or the bell-bottom pants. The white T-shirt. The white Simon... Everything! <laughs> Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that... Of Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No! <laughs> Howie! You know what? I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. OK, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. You touch the heart of every human being in this building right now. And I want to tell you, man, you've been bullied all your life, but you tell every bully that you have a big brother named Terry Crews, who is here, who's got your back. And all those bullies are going to have to watch you succeed, my friend. The miracle of this whole story, his mother saw how talented he was and she submitted his audition to America's Got Talent. I like being surprised and I'm really, really curious to see after what everyone went through in 2020, what it's going to be like in 2021. It's really hard to explain. It's something that suddenly moves you, that suddenly you think that there's uh, nothing that is going to compare to it or it's something that maybe you think it's worth of people seeing it becoming, you know, better and better through the competition. When it calls me, it just calls me. There, there, there's been certain things that I was like, uh, 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 and it's like, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And hopefully it will be, you know, a variety act, like something different because I would just love, you know, for someone else to have a shot this time. Surprise me. Surprise me. We're going to see some special moments this year. And I have a good feeling about this. Hi, everybody. This is Maddie, and I just got the golden buzzer from Howie Mandel. I am the biggest fan there could be of America's Got Talent, and here I am. <laughs> Without the judges knowing, we asked Maddie to sit in the audience. Let's see if they notice me. Okay, we're coming back from break in one minute. One minute. I need to get some air or something. All right, we got a hot minute. So. You come here, stand up. How you doing? What are you gonna see for us? I don't care, just do it. Are you ready for me? You ready for me? Here we go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. My mind was blown and I was just so happy and I'm going to the live shows. Always trying to change my two tens, that's a paradigm. A paradigm's I probably go see ya. Paradigm's like Heidi and Sophia. 
I'm a showman, so allow me to show you how I'm good with the jokes like Howie. Doing this for Simon so the world might hear me. Cruise to the top and get jacked like Terry. So, whether you were born a jack, a queen, or an ace, or raised as a diamond, joke a spade, or an eight. Simon said he was a little mad at me because I haven't auditioned before. Uh, I think that it was just the good timing. Um, a couple years ago, maybe I didn't feel ready or something, but I'm so glad I'm here now. Thank you so much, everyone. I cannot wait to show you what I have planned for round two. Tune in. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah James, and I'm 13 years old, and I'm from Poland. <laughs> We've heard a lot of singers over the years, but wow, you have a real star glow about you. Thank you so much. Wow. Simon said that I have star power. It's amazing. I just like, ah, Simon said it. You know, it's crazy. It must be such an unbelievable feeling doing this in front of an American audience, because yeah. I'm guessing this is probably where you dreamt of performing. Mm -hmm. And I can remember when I came to America for the first time, and that was 20 odd years ago. And that was a moment I'll never forget. And I want to make this a moment for you to remember forever. Simon, thank you so much for the opportunity that I'm, you know, even here, and you know, it's just like amazing. Thank you so, 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 so much. And, you know, I'm not gonna let you down. I hope you're gonna be proud of me and everyone in America. <laughs> I would be so honored to empower you even more in this journey because you deserve it. And I want to be part of this. This was our only chance to prove that us Arab women are capable of doing what we did today. And it's amazing because I know that this today is going to inspire a lot of women, a lot of Arab women especially. And it's, I'm just grateful and we're just grateful that we are able to do that today on America's Got Talent. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Who's funnier? Nobody. Makeup. I want to need some makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. How you doing? Doing amazing. Well, I just cannot wait to perform with you tonight. Me neither. All right. See you there. All right. It's going to be great. Preacher, do you need a minute? Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I have it. You wow. want to meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh, my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, uh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how how long have you how long have you been doing? Oh, I've done it for eleven, 11 years. Eleven years. Can you dance? Wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Hold. Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. I can do this too. He's moving his lips. Okay, Darcy, check your mirrors Checking. before any movement. I can't see myself anymore. Safety first. There's a lot of dummies on the road. And the biggest one is talking into a megaphone. Take your foot off the brake and start moving toward the course. Take moving. your foot off the... Stop! 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 Oh, sorry, little stop. Simon. Back up. I want you to start from the top. Forwards. Forward slow. Forward. Stop. Back up. Uh, Forward. Uh, you just pulled me back. back. OK. Stop. 
You are going now the average speed during rush hour on an LA freeway. So without moving, I want you to sit here now for two and a half hours. This is pretty realistic. Our live show in Vegas is really cool. We get to reunite with all the other performers. It's a bunch of sweethearts out here. Since AGT. So much stuff has happened ever since. I went on Ellen, I got to go on Jimmy Fallon. After AGT, it's sold out crowds now. It's a bit more exciting performing here because you're not getting judged. You can just have fun. Vicky's been so much so nice to me and she kind of took care of me in America's Got Talent. And I love Courtney so much. I feel like I'm Courtney's aunt, her, her uh, mischievous aunt. Especially you, handsome. I never thought that I'd be on America's Got Talent. It's just unbelievable. Our son, we came on the show to create an environment to where we can raise him ourselves. You know, before I would never actually speak at all. I would always do my magic silently. It's, it's changed my life, my family's life. It's truly a blessing.